No one warned us. No one said you were going to lose both engines at a lower altitude than any jet in history. No one has ever trained for an incident like that. I played Chesley Sullenberger, who uh, landed a plane in the Hudson with 155 people on board on January 15th, 2009. Sully was an accomplished pilot in every way, shape, and form. He started flying when he was 14 years old. Because he had been flying as long as he has, it was a good thing that Sully was on that particular trip. Mayday, mayday, this is Cactus 1549. We've lost a thrust on both engines. He had all the right experience at the right moment. My aircraft. Your aircraft. And his instincts kicked in, and he was essentially flying a powerless glider with the lives of 155 people in his hands. He turned that tragedy on its head. Off your right side is Teterboro Airport. We can't make it. We're going to end up in the Hudson. I got an A320 diving for the river. Because of Sully, all 155 people survived. It was an extraordinary moment. It was such a positive event out of a bad situation. Miracle on the Hudson, the New Yorkers call it. He gained national and international attention. People call you a hero. I don't feel like a hero. Show us your cake, Super Sully! But Sully paid the cost for that heroic act. Our job is to investigate how a plane ended up in the Hudson River. On the Hudson. The investigative board was trying to paint the picture that he had done the wrong thing. The simulation showed that you could make it back to the airport. Not possible. I felt it go. That's a very interesting and compelling part of the story that nobody ever heard about. You stated that it was a dual engine failure due to multiple bird strikes. That would be unprecedented. Well, everything is unprecedented until it happens for the first time. While we're all looking at him on David Letterman and Katie Kirk, he had to hide that his entire career was on the line. What if I didn't get this wrong? If I endangered the lives of all those passengers? The beauty of this movie is that no one knows the Sully story, and we're finally telling it. I like the script. I like the story. Being authentic to the story is most important. I did want to go see Sully because it is important to have the enthusiasm of the person the story is about. Clint came to our house before he began this project, and he had a very clear vision for how to tell this story. We wanted to give the audience a real feel of what it was like to be there, and I think that's the key to telling the story in the right way. One of the things we did is we invited a lot of the first responders from the event seven years ago to come work with us on this project. It's their story. They lived it, and so they should be a part of it. The ferry captain, that is the real guy that was the first ferry to arrive. The frogman that leapt out of the helicopter were the real frogmen. Everybody wanted to be involved because the experience is such an incredible memory for them. That's what really makes it, I think, the miracle in the Hudson, and how everybody joined together to make it a success. We were in rescue mode. We did everything that we could to help get those passengers off the aircraft. Sully is the quintessential New York story. Everybody knew we were making that movie, and it was pretty great that they get to relive when they were a part of an extraordinary day. It was a very emotional experience for us, and I'm glad that this story is being told. Clint is directing the film, and I don't think anybody but Clint could do it. He's made some of the most influential motion pictures in the history of American cinema. Clint creates an atmosphere that's just a joy. You just know you're going to have a great time, that it's going to be interesting material, that you're going to be working with great people. I'm excited to see Tom step into that experience. Tom was one of the first people we thought about, and working with Tom is terrific. He's a consummate pro, but he has a great sense of humor. Tom Hanks is the most talented actor of his generation. It's been fantastic to watch Tom become Sully. He just embodies the character. Clint Eastwood, Tom Hanks, this really is a dream team, and they're working very hard to tell this story truly and very, very well. This is the captain. It's going to be incredible. Brace for impact. Brace, brace, brace. Heads down, stay down. The true story is going to shock the heck out of people. It was miraculous. There were 155 people on that plane, and you were one of them. I think Mr. Eastwood has succeeded. It's wildly entertaining. Over 40 years in the air, but in the end, I'm going to be judged on 208 seconds. I need a count, passengers and crew. Is anyone still here? 